Hey everyone, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another Dia and Co unboxing. I like these, it's fun, and I'm excited to do another one. If you guys don't know, Dia and Co is a $20 a month clothing subscription service. Um, sometimes it's not always clothing, so it looks like I actually have a clutch this time, which is pretty cool. Um, so they send you at least four clothing items and then like one accessory often I get like a necklace or I've gotten a purse and I guess a clutch one time um so they send different things I'll link my playlist up here I think it's on this side um so you can check it out if you want to see my previous boxes so if you buy anything you get that $20 styling fee back um and if you buy everything you get 20% and the $20 and um, anything you don't want, you send back in the like pre-stamped bag that they send you in the box every month. So if you um, like, you don't you don't have to worry about sending things back. It's not hard. You just put it in the bag, seal it up, and um, go to the post office and like drop it off. I've done it, and it takes like literally like 10 seconds. Once you've parked, <laughs> you just go in, drop it off, leave, and you're done. So it's super easy. I tend to do it on my way home from work when I need to do it. Um, so I like this, it's pretty, this design. Let's open it up and see what it says about the things. So inside there's a little letter and they tell you um, kind of how they would style these pieces. So there's a pair of jeans, they're boyfriend jeans. We'll see if I look good in them. There's a lace tank top. Um, that I guess I'm supposed to pair with my fave cardigan. I don't know. And uh, there's a jacket, which I'm really interested in. I hope it looks really good. I'm really into jackets. We'll see, we'll see. Um, and there's a clutch and there's a blouse. So we'll see. I often don't get to keep any of the blouses just because I tend to actually not fit. So we'll see. I will, um, yeah, they're over here, they're behind me. I will try on the first thing and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm wearing the Rachel Roy Montana Lace Insert Tank Black in 1X for $69 and the Slink Jeans Hunter Rolled Boyfriend Jean Dark Wash Size 18 for $98. Oh gosh, $98 for these? No, um, personally, I think there's just like something weird about me and boyfriend jeans. They're just, they're just weird. I don't, like they fit around the waist fine. Like there's a bit of a muffin top coming up from these, from this waistband. And if you can't tell what that noise is, sorry, that's a cat. Yeah. Like, like now is when you have to do this? Now. Thank you, over there. I gave you the box, go in the box. Yeah, see a box, that's what it's for. <coughs> no, I want I want the paper, I don't want a box. Okay. Well, there's a cat. Um, but I, these are like super distressed, which is kind of cool, but, sorry, I'm like kicking things, but I don't know, it just looks, I look at myself and it just looks weird. And for $98, they have to be freaking perfect. Like, I'm not spending that money on okay, and I would probably never wear these to work. No, no. And this top, like, you can see my bra straps, which isn't the worst. But, I don't know, it just seems... It just seems completely not my style. It's comfortable, but it's, like, very see-through. Like, it's super duper see-through, and... I don't like that I have like that my that my bra straps aren't covered. I don't like that. I don't know. It's not the worst tank top, but and it's sixty-nine dollars for a tank top. Seventy dollars for a tank top. Like, I'm pretty sure I've put like fifty dollars or under or something for my tops. I may not have. I should have checked that. If you aren't aware, you can um set limits on price, like price limits for clothing items. And I'm pretty sure I did that. So I'll have to, I'll have to check when I review, cause you can review your items. Again, if you're not aware, which you probably are, 
this isn't the first one you've seen of my videos like this. Ugh. So I'm really gonna say a no. This seems to be a, like a really expensive box. Like they've spent, like this, all of these are very high price items pretty much. Like the jacket I'm really curious about, but it's like $130. We'll see. If it's perfect, if it's perfect, I'll get it. If it's not, I won't. But we'll have to see. But I'm not having it with these pants and this tank top. So there's another top. I'll try that on. And I think I'll show you the clutch next time. And I'll try the jacket on last. So um, here's the top. It's a really nice color. Like, oh. it's a really nice color. But like, I, I have to pull this up because otherwise you're going to like see everything. Um, who in their right mind gives plus size women polyester? Like, I'm sorry. Why? Why? There's never any give in the fabric. Like, oh, I, that feels great. Let me not be able to move my arms. That's something I want to do. Like, I'm sorry. That's just dumb. And for serious, okay, so I unbuttoned the buttons because it's just too much. But like, these buttons don't button prop. I mean, they button properly, but there's like no give, so they don't work. What size is this? This is a. This is the Curve by Dora Landa Josie Top Royal Blue 1X. This fits my shoulders, but this does not fit my bust. Like I don't understand. Why is there no space for a large bust and a large shirt? Yes, not all plus size women have a large chest. Some women are just broad, some women just have big bellies. There's different types. I feel like all three, it's great. But like, I don't understand why there's no space in the top and there's no stretch. So this is horrible. I was gonna show you this and the clutch, but since I can't like unclutch my hand from my chest, otherwise I'm gonna expose myself, I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the jacket. Um. Let me move that a little stool thing. So this is the, what is it? The Juno Rose Kelly jacket in black and one X for $129. I, like I want to really like it, but also, okay, one thing. I don't like zipper pockets. These aren't the worst, I guess, but I don't like pockets where it's a zipper because I just don't like feeling the zipper when I'm going in and out. And also I can't like zip it up. It wouldn't be comfortable to zip this up. And I just don't like um, not being able to zip up my jacket. Even if I never do, I feel like I should be able to. I feel like that's something I should be able to do, especially for $130. <sighs> and I don't know. Do I want to have a leather jacket one day? Or leather like jacket yes I do I think having like a perfect one would be great you just have one and keep it forever I don't think this is that one I've tried on a few and they just aren't and also I don't know the more I feel this it just feels really thin and not $130 worth not, not so much. So, so far this month, it's just not very good. I've not been getting the best boxes with Dianco lately. <sighs> we'll see. Um, but here is the clutch. Oops, throwing things around. I put the strap on. This is the, what's it called? Cambridge clutch, navy slash nude. One size, of course, because it's a purse. And it is $28.50. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to because I feel like this would be great in the spring, but also how much can you really put? Because since this folds over, you can really only put things in here, but it's kind of cute. I like that it's like not black, but it's navy and then it's like this nude with this flowers. It just seems like, like it's a very peachy nude, but it seems like it would be very, um, springtime and I like that it's got a tassel here. But, so let's look inside. I mean, it's just a big pocket and I think there's a, there's, yeah, there's a little zippered pocket inside and then that's it. And I don't know, I think I wanna get something from this box and really this was the best thing in it for me. So I think I'm gonna get, um, I think I'm gonna get the clutch 
and I like that it has like a gold chain. You could wear it on one shoulder or you could do it uh, cross body. And since I've already paid $20, paying another $8.50 for this, like, okay, sure. Then I'm at least getting something instead of paying $20 for nothing. I, yeah, I, I wanted to like this jacket so bad. Like, I really wanted to like it because wouldn't it be great if the perfect leather-esque jacket came to you in the mail and you didn't have to like go searching for it yeah that'd be great I want one I think everyone should have one like leather-esque jacket or something right it's like a classic wardrobe I don't know so uh, I'm not getting any clothes today <laughs> um that is it for this Dia and Co I hope you guys enjoyed this um I hope these are helpful for you um, I really enjoy getting it. It does kind of take some of the pressure off of shopping. I have noticed that since I started getting Dia and Co, I've not been clothes shopping as much, but the past two or three boxes just haven't been good. I've not been really happy with them. Um, let me know if you're having that similar experience too, if you get this box. Um, otherwise... I, you know, I hope this is enjoyable for you. I hope you get to like see things or whatever. If you're interested in trying Dia and Co, which I do suggest you do, you fill out a pretty in-depth um, uh, questionnaire type of thing. Uh, I have a link down below that'll give you twenty dollars or a first or like a free first box or something like that. So you know, use that because why not try it for free at least for a month and see how it goes from there. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this again, and I will see you all next time. So until then, be well. Bye.